What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. I have right here in front of me my April Ipsy BoxyCharm. It's here, it came, I'm excited. We're gonna unbox this together, see what I got, see what the value is of this box, and then we're gonna create a look together using the products. Now, I don't remember what I picked. I know that two of the products they automatically curate for you and then the other three you get to pick from three different categories and I forgot what I picked. I know what one of the products is in here. It's one of the ones that they picked and I think it's the one that like everybody wanted and I'm so excited about it because it's in this box. But let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing and see what goodies are in this box. All right, before we dive into this, if you are unaware of what Ipsy, BoxyCharm, Icon Box, all of that jazz is, it's a monthly subscription with three different tiers. So you can get the Glam Bag. I believe that one is like $15 a month and you get like five, I could be wrong. I don't know all the details on the Glam Bag, but I'll put them down below. But I think you get five like sample size products in a cute little bag. And then you can upgrade to $30 a month and get the Boxy Charm. And that you get five full size products every month. Two of them are automatic automatically picked for you. The other three, you get to choose one item from each of the three categories to put into your box. And then there's the Icon Box, which is a quarterly box. And you can upgrade to that one. It's $60 a quarter. And that one always has like some certain person that's curating it they pick out a bunch of products it's got like a high um worth to it all of that the last one that they did was Gwen Stefani and then the one that's coming up next month is Patrick Starr I did sign up for that one so I will have that one next month but um I have the boxy charm we're gonna jump into this so opening her up first of all you get this little pamphlet in here and it tells you about the products that you can get it tells you about the icon box the member perks you also get like discount codes for certain brands too if you're a member and then it's got like a little QR code that you can scan to get more information on your products how to use them you can review them get points all of that stuff also this video is not sponsored like I pay for this by myself I pick out I am a member of Ipsy so just keep that in mind like I'm not being paid to say this this was not sent to me I spent my money on this and um, I also signed up for the Allure beauty box so that will be coming soon but anyways back to this so this tells you like everything you need I don't ever pay attention to this because I just I don't need to but let's dive into this let's open it up let's start with the product that I knew is in here that I think most people at this point if you've paid attention know what I'm talking about and that is the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism blush palette I am so excited y'all I have wanted this for the longest time I almost ordered it when the Moonshroom collection came out and then I saw that Ipsy was gonna have this in their April box and I was like we're gonna hold off see if we get it and it popped up that I was, and I was so excited. This, y'all, I am on a new Lunar Beauty kick. I love the brand. I'm obsessed with that eyeshadow palette. The formula is stunning. I love the colors in there, everything about it. So now I have a blush palette, and it's absolutely beautiful. Let's open this up. Oh, y'all it's so pretty it's so pretty and i think i can use every single color too this one might be a good bronzer color for me it looks a little warm but we'll see we're gonna play with it test it out i will continue to test it out beyond this video as well as everything else that's in this box so um i can let you know what's good and what's not okay up next we're gonna move on to this this is from first aid beauty i love first aid beauty this is a hydrating eye cream with hyaluronic acid safe for sensitive skin love that i love skincare skincare makes me happy i have a ton of it i love trying new skincare i bought some new skincare in the sephora sale which if you looked in my community section you already know that snowball of a mess that's going on but anyways I'm excited about this. I will definitely dive into this, use it, check it out, all those good things, and keep you updated on it if you're interested. Are y'all interested in skincare? I love skincare. Let me know. Okay, 
let's just start pulling out products. Up next we have from Pink Lips. This is the Soft Matte Contour Stick. I picked this? I think I picked these next three products. I think the blush palette and the eye cream were picked for me and then I picked the rest of these. I'll be honest, they didn't really have the best products to pick from this month. I wasn't very impressed with what they had to choose from. Sometimes they're like on point and you want like everything and then other times it's like, well, if I have to pick something and I think this is one of those months, but you know what? This right here is worth the $30 because I know this retails for more than $30. Okay, so this is the contour stick. Okay, this is what it looks like. That looks like it could be a good color. I don't really contour, but this could be like a bronze tour, have you? Let's let's put it on the back of the hand. I always do this in like the most awkward way. Okay, it feels creamy. I like the color. Okay, it doesn't have a smell. Okay, we're gonna play with that, see what that's all about. I'm excited. From Fenty Beauty, we have the Bright Fix Eye Brightener. I'm excited about this. This has been on my wish list for a really long time. And here it is. I did pick this. I'm not sure about the color. You didn't get to pick your color with this. Urgh. And this is in the shade Golden Ivory. I don't know if that's going to work for me, but... This is what it looks like. It's got this little applicator. Let's put some on the back of my hand. That might not be too bad. It's a little bit of like a golden undertone, but I've seen things that are way more yellow. I have things that are way more yellow and I can make them work. So we'll see, we'll see. And last we have from Misho Beauty is a lip liner duo. I do remember the, picking this now that I see it. I love a good lip liner. I'm excited. I like the packaging, that's cute. Okay, so we have two different colors. We have Worthy and Beloved. Let's give Worthy a little swatchy swatch. It is one of those mechanical ones that you twist up. It has a sharpener on the end. I prefer a pencil, like a lip liner and eyeliner that you actually sharpen, like a wooden one. But there is that color. This one is Worthy. Just a really pretty, like, rosy mauve shade. And then this one is Beloved. So let's see what Beloved looks like. Okay, so that's Beloved. They are very, very similar, but once you swipe them next to each other, this one right here is Beloved. It looks like it's just a little bit more on like the plummy side. And what's the name of the other one? Worthy is this first one right here. And it looks like it's just a little bit more on the warm side. Both beautiful colors, both very wearable. I'm excited. Now, let's check and see what the value is of this box. Okay, so I'm on my app that shows my little box, and then if you scroll down, you can see the products that you got. So let's click on the first aid, the, high, the eye cream. So this says it retails for $30. So let me go ahead and put that in my calculator so we can figure out how much this is worth. Okay, up next is the Moon Prism Blush Palette. This shows that it's worth $35, so we're already up to $65. So, and I paid 30 plus tax for this, so not bad, not bad at all. The Contour Stick, it says retails for $18. The two lip liners retail for $26. And the Fenty Beauty Eye Brightener retails for $28. So that brings us to a grand total of $137 value in this box. That's not bad for $30. You're basically getting $107 worth of product for free. I'm excited about it. This actually isn't a bad box. I wasn't too excited when I was building it. I remember being a little disappointed. But now that I've kind of opened everything, swatched it, played with it, I'm excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear some of this out of the way. I'm gonna pull out some other products from my collection to fill in the gaps and we're gonna play with these products and create a look. 
All right, so I've pulled out everything for a full face of makeup. Let's jump into this. I'm not gonna dive too much into the products that I'm using. I will link and list everything down below. So if you're curious about what I'm using, um, just check down there. But the, I mean, these are products that I have in my collection. I've been testing. I've already put in videos or they're just OG products in my collection that I already know and love but we're here for the new stuff but I did go in with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip and I'm still testing out the Ilia Skin Rewind Complexion Tint. I'm really enjoying this so far but I am excited about this box. I really am. I'm excited about next month the Icon Box. Um, I'm curious to see what Patrick Star does with it. Is it going to be a lot of one size? I think there's supposed to be some Fenty in there as well. So I'm really curious to see what we get. It has been years since I've done an Icon box. I had it for a little while and then I canceled it just because I didn't feel like I really needed it. I think the last one that I got was Alicia Keys and that was a while ago. I just kind of stepped away from it and went back down to just the regular boxy charm. But I'll admit, when they did Gwen Stefani last time, it kind of pulled me in and made me really interested in getting back to the icon box. So I'm excited for it. Okay, foundation's on, let's move on to concealer. So we're gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener that came in the box. I did get shade Golden Ivory, as I said. You don't get to pick, so I just kind of got what they had and just kind of hoped that it would work, but that's what the shade looks like. Let's see how this blends out. This has been on my wish list for a very long time. I've always wanted to try it. I've heard really good things from it. I was not impressed with the new Fenty concealer, actually either of the Fenty concealers. The original one, the Pro Filter, I think is what it's called. I didn't really like that one. I didn't like the way it sat under my eyes. It was a little too drying. And then the Wear Even was just it was too hydrating. I just, I didn't really care for that one either, but that looks nice. That's not a bad shade match, actually. It doesn't look too yellow. I am going to go in with my Pro Filter uh, Powder and Lavender. I pulled it because this looked really yellow, so I think once I do that, we're going to be okay. So far, so good. It feels good under my eyes. It's hydrating. It's not overly hydrating. And it does seem to just kind of brighten everything up, give it a good light medium coverage. I'm here for it. That looks really good. Okay, let's carry on because our next product is a cream product. So I wanna put that on before I powder. And this is the Pink Lippies, what was this, the contour stick? Oh, it's not written on there. But this is the shade Latte, it does say that. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to, well first I need to grab a brush for this. Where's the one that I want? Here it is. I like this one from Singe Beauty. This is an F01. I also really enjoy this one from It Cosmetics. I don't talk a lot about brushes on here. But this one, I think it's a foundation brush. I haven't been able to find more like it, but it's dirty. So we're gonna go in right here. Okay, it's creamy. Just kind of draw around. See what the dry time is like on this bad boy. This is how I normally bronze. We're gonna blend this out. Um, not the most blendable in the whole world. And it's not awful, but it's not lifting anything when I go in and kind of swipe it around. But I do like the color. I think the color is really pretty. It's not too warm, but it's not too cool toned either. It's like a perfect bronzer. So far, I'm enjoying it. Do any of y'all still do the Ipsy or the Boxy Charm? I know, like, for a long time, they were kind of like not very great, but I feel like once they merge together, like Ipsy and BoxyCharm, I feel like it kind of stepped up their game. Like they had more resources, they had more brands to reach out to. I'm really, I'm really liking it so far. I haven't had a whole lot of misses 
from the boxes. I've had things that I'm like not excited about, but once I play with them, I enjoy them. So let me know, do y'all still subscribe to these? Do y'all even enjoy these videos? I like watching them. I think they're fun to watch people open them, see what they get, especially the people who get these for free. I think it's fun to see what they get. But this is what we're looking like. I think I wanna stack just a little bit more on top, see how it builds up on itself. And then we're gonna move on to powder. Okay, I'm liking the way that's looking on my skin. It laid down nicely. It wasn't the easiest to blend out. It did take a little bit of elbow grease, but it did blend out. It didn't lift my foundation underneath. I don't think this is going to work well over powder products, but I will continue to test it and I'll let you know. But um, my skin actually feels really good. I think I'm just gonna do a light dusting of powder. Like I don't feel sticky. I don't feel like I, like, I don't feel like my face is made of like flypaper, you know what I mean? But I am going to just do a light dusting of powder. So I'm gonna go in there with a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna set my face with that Fenty Pro Filter powder in the shade Lavender. Okay, my face is set. This is what the complexion's looking like. It looks really nice, but let's jump into some blush, put a little bit more color back into our face. So we're gonna go in with the Moon Prism palette that came with this box. And I wanna start with this shade right here. I wanna go in very lightly, see if I can do a little bit of bronzing with it. It's the shade Gravity. So for this, I'm just gonna grab my Singe Beauty F05 brush and I'm gonna lightly tap into that shade and just, yeah. Yeah, that's actually really pretty. It's got like a nice, red undertone so it's warm but it's not like an orange warm and since I am a cooler undertone the red toned um, bronzers actually look really pretty on my skin they give it like the perfect sun-kissed glow I did tell y'all earlier that I ordered the Allure beauty box I'm not gonna lie the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer kind of sucked me in and I was like, hmm, it's $25 for the box and I get that, it's already worth it. So I ordered it, I wanna see what it's about. I've been watching it for years, watching people get theirs. They're very hit or miss, but I'm all for it. I love a subscription box, especially now that I'm a content creator and I'm such a small content creator. It gives me a chance to try a lot of new products, really test some things out and help with like content and all of that. But even before that, I really enjoyed them, but I'm excited about it. I wanna know, do any of y'all have that subscription box either? That looks really pretty. I like that as a bronzer. Oh, I love it when I get a, a blush palette that has a bronzer in it. But let's do a blush. What blush do I wanna use? These are all so beautiful. Let's, let's swatch them. Let's swatch these blushes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go in order like this. So I'm gonna start with the shade Pink Moon. And we're gonna come on the back of my arm right here. So that's the shade Pink Moon. That's a really pretty like petal pink. And then we have the shade Twilight is a really pretty coral shade. Ooh, that one's really pretty. <gasps> I like that one a lot. That one's beautiful. We have Spacey. This looks like, this is like a color that has my name written all over it. Yep, a beautiful rosy toned blush. Love her. So Lille, I think that's how you pronounce this. This is a glowy blush. I love a glowy blush, but this is really pretty as well. That kind of favors this one up here, which was Pink Moon. Absolutely beautiful. Stargaze is the next one. Yeah, that's really pretty. That's just a little bit of like a, like a pinky peach kind of in between these two right here and then last we have gravity which is the shade that I use as a bronzer and yeah that's definitely a bronzer shade on me if you are darker skin tone you can probably well you definitely can use that as a blush but I like it I like the shades that are in here I want to play with this one right here which is called spacey I want to put that on my cheeks 
and see what it looks like. I'm excited about this. So I'm just gonna go in with my It Cosmetics blush brush and we're going to tap her on the cheek. That's a very pretty color. I like that. Gorgeous. I like that. Do any of y'all have this palette? Do y'all have the other one? I know he has two of them. I really like this one. This one's beautiful, but should I pick up the other one? I'm still contemplating if I want to get his nude prism palette. Everybody talks about how amazing that palette is. It's the perfect nude palette. The formula is so good. And I'm thinking about it. I'm really thinking about it. I might during his next sale, but that's really pretty. I like it. Let's pop on a little bit of highlighter. I'm just gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Multi Glow. I did um, make a short featuring the products that I purchased from Charlotte Tilbury recently. I got some of her new releases, mostly lip products, and I'm really loving them. The Pillow Talk Light Liner is stunning, so pretty. This highlighter is gorgeous. Um, what else? Oh, the big plump gasm. That's really nice too. It's not, it's not a painful plump. It just has like a, a slight tingle to it, but beautiful. I'm liking what I got from Charlotte Tilbury. All right, this is what we're looking like. We have our complexion on. We have our blush, our bronzer, our concealer. Couldn't think of the name of it. Um, the next product that we have to use from this is the lip product. So I'm going to go in with one of the lip liners. I think I'm going to do the shade Beloved because I pulled one of my Queen Musia lipsticks in the shade Ada. And I think that these two are going to go really good together. So let me go ahead and take off what I have on my lips. I just have on one of the Summer Fridays buttermilk or lip butter bombs. This one is Pink Sugar. Yes, pink sugar, I love those. I'm just gonna take this off and we're gonna test out this lip liner. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna go in with the shade Beloved. And just line my lips. Okay, so this is what the lip liner looks like. I like the color, it's very pretty. This went on really nicely. It's creamy, it's not too creamy. We'll see how it wears throughout the day, if it slips, slides, anything like that. But so far, I like the formula. Um, I will keep you updated on these and obviously the shades, all of that. But first impression, I do really enjoy it. That goes really well together. I like that combo. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do brows, eyes, all of that jazz off camera because that's not what this video is about. And then I'm gonna come back with my completed look and we're gonna chat about the products in this box. All right, so this is going to complete our look. I did go in with the Garfield X Glam Light Palette on my eyes. I did film it. It will be coming on here as a short and over on Instagram as a reel, but I'm really enjoying this palette. I like the looks that I'm creating out of it. I also went in with my Magic, my Half Magic Magic Flick Liquid Eyeliner, Blend Bunny Omni Lash Mascara, Martine Cosmetics um, Eyeliner and Anthracite. What else did I use? Oh, I set my face with my Patrick Ta Dewey Milk Mist. Um, normal primers that I usually use. Everything will be down in the description box, but let's chat about what we got in this box because for $30, I feel like we got a really good value. So let's talk about the Lunar Beauty Blush Palette first. This is a $35 product, so already you're getting this at a discounted rate. So aside from everything else, I think it's worth it. I'm really happy with my box this month. Happier than I thought I was gonna be actually, but this palette's gorgeous. I'm excited to have it, excited to keep playing with it. I love the blush shades in here. I feel like every single one of them is going to be useful for me. I can put all of them on my skin. They all look beautiful. I did use these two shades today as a bronzer and as a blush, and they just look beautiful on the skin. Um, the contour stick from Pink Lippies and Latte, 
this is really nice. I'm impressed. It's not the most creamy or emollient um, contour stick that I've ever used, but it's not the worst either. It does take a little bit of finessing to blend it out, but it didn't lift my makeup underneath it. I don't think it's going to work well over. There's like a little gnat flying around here. I don't think it's going to work well over powder products, but I will try it out. All of these products will be featured in a future speed review per usual. Everything that I test out, I come back and give you my actual final thoughts. And if those change down the line, I'll update you with that on that as well. The Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener Illuminator. I like this. So far, I'm really enjoying it. It's not settling into my fine lines. It doesn't feel overly drying. It's not quite as creamy and hydrating as I normally prefer, but it's not setting weird. The shade actually works for me. I was worried about the shade because it's a golden ivory and I am a cool undertone, but it works for me, especially when I put on that lavender powder over it. I like this so far. The lip liners. These are really nice. These are creamy. They go on really nicely. They glide on. They're not so soft that they break off. They don't feel cheap. They don't feel, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They don't feel waxy on the lips or anything like that. They're pigmented. At least the one that I put on my lips was pigmented, but I did swatch both of them. Um, I will keep trying them, but they just went on really nicely. They lined really well. We'll see how the color holds up, how the product holds up, things like that. I will continue to use them. Oh, and the eye cream. I'm going to have to try this later, let you know how it works. I have extremely sensitive eyes and I know immediately if something's going to work for underneath my eyes or not. So I'm excited about this. I love the brand. I can't wait to see if this works. I've actually kind of had my eye on this for a while, but that is this month's Boxy Charm. I'm excited about it. I like it. I like what I got. Let me know what you think. Let me know all of your thoughts. Let me know if you're subscribed to anything. If there's another subscription box out there that I haven't tried that I don't know about. Um, like I said, I did subscribe to the Allure box. I've been looking into the ice cream beauty box. That's one of those that you can either subscribe or just purchase the one that you want. I don't know about that one yet, maybe in the future, but let me know all of your thoughts down below in that comment section. Let's light it up, have that conversation. And as usual, I want to thank you so much for spending your time with me and watching my video. It does mean so, so much to me. I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you can be notified of all my future posts here on my channel. I do post quite a few videos every single week, most days, if not every day, and I wouldn't want you to miss one. But until my next video, have a good one. Bye.